Beyond the Fairway podcast presented by Genesis. Will and I, it's, Will, it, I, I can't wait for today's episode. Like, I'm, I'm so excited. We're going to talk about a few things. You know what? We don't always need a guest, right? I'm very excited to be with you. We don't have to, like, try to get to know somebody. I don't care. I want to talk to you. We're going to talk Phil Mickelson. We're going to talk Junior Golf. We're going to talk to Zurich. Does it even matter? What else are we going to talk about? I don't know. Stay tuned right here. Beyond the Fairway presented by Genesis. We're going to get into it. William. What's up, Dougie? Some, you got some splaining to do, boy. God, you got some splaining to do. What I got to talk about? I want to know why you didn't. You, you was here, but you didn't show up last week at the APGA out here in Scottsdale. What, what happened? To, what happened? Man, what had happened was. <laughs> what had happened was. But we, bro, we, we opened it up. We started it last week, Will. We where did. We was in the couch, my crib. We did. You guys are welcome for coming into my living room last week. We appreciate that. We did. We did. Will? I, I got I got 1,000 pennies coming your way, homie. That's 1,000 pennies. I need that. Yes. I need, I need all of that right now. Wait a <laughs> Wait, this is kids growing and eating. I need all of that. But no, Man, as you so, guys heard last week, Will and I competed APGA event here in Scottsdale. We had a little bet, had a whole situation. Well, I'll let you explain your side. I so I, I hate. I, I don't really care to hear your side though, Doug. I, I lost to NBC Tournament of Champions. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, and you know, and and I tell you what really frustrates me the most is that. I know my game is so solid. Like, I know my game is so solid. It's just the minute I press send to take the money out of my account, it was like the Monstars. You, you ever seen Space Jam? Where they just, yeah. you got your talents just taken away from you? Yeah, when we when I was like eight, yeah. I yeah, <laughs> well, they had, they had another one when you, when you were damn 38, <laughs> fool. Damn, not that old yet. <laughs> not as old as you. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, but, yeah, man, my talents just went away from me. I couldn't. I don't know what happened, man. It just... You don't know what happened. Man, I don't know what happened, bro. I, I could not find the center of the club face. I think because... I think because... You held the club backwards. That's no, 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 no. I think because I went and did something I haven't done in a couple of years. I went out and practiced. <gasps> you can't practice. This you can't. So, I, I got to the... I, I, and, Doug, congratulations on your damn top 20. Top third of the field. That's what I'll take. It sounds <laughs> Top third of the field. <laughs> Out of 18. No. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. See how you do me? This guy. This guy. But, but I want to know this, Doug. Come on. And you, you usually don't hold back for words. Okay. All right. You get yourself. What, what, did you feel greater? Did you feel best? How did you feel the fact that you don't play at all? And Instagram's fake, and it, <laughs> and you beat a lot of seasoned golfers who are especially they're in the prime of their season. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? And well, and let me and I'm gonna get I gotta include me into the company Go too because we both were in a good shape after round one. Yeah, it was in decent shape. <laughs> okay, but how do you feel about that? Because you beat you beat some you some 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 decent golfers, man. Man, well, you know I want to talk all of the smack right now that I, I should could. I earned, you know, I don't play golf and beat all these professionals that, um, that played. Now look, think about golf and I'm going to take the this PC. Hurts, I'm going to take the, I'm gonna I know, but before you talk, before First you talk, PC hold on, before you talk, I want you to know that I love you, bro. Cause this <laughs> is, this is hurting me to talk about this stuff. Like, I don't really want to be in this conversation. I mean, we're going to, we're going to do a, a quick hard out real well, quick. You, first, people got to understand that <laughs> Will was talking about the NBC Tournament of Champions. He's implying or talking about me, him, and Noda Begay. We all played in the event. Shout out to Noda for, uh, for coming out. You know, Noda's old. Y'all didn't know. He's about to go and play on the Champions Tour. He's going to try to Monday. Or excuse me, he's going to try to play on the tour, uh, qualify, and Q School is at the course where we had the APGA event. So shout out to Noda Begay. Noda and I tied for first in the NBC Turn of Champions. We'll finish third. I'll just put it like that. Uh, you know, it, it's weird, man. It, honestly, after the event, Will, and I got you back to myself, hope. try to internalize it a little bit, <laughs> it kind of gave me the itch to go play. Like It's like, damn. I didn't practice. I had just got off a plane. Like, it was like, damn, I actually played decent golf. I didn't play bad. A couple dumb decisions. I, I had a lot of rust mentally, I'll say that. But uh, I also want to say there's a lot of guys that you just quit. Just be, just be honest with you. You can't beat me by a lot. And you don't have what it takes. 
Hell I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I should be, look, I think I'm going to open up like a, uh, like an Oracle den, like from the Matrix, where it's like, send your kids to me. If they can't beat me, then they can't be a professional golfer. I'm the best, worst guy. So come on here. Let me evaluate your situation. See if you can impress me. If not, take your ass and get a job, go to school. So that's yeah, kind of my attitude, yeah. Will. But yeah, <laughs> it can't, it can't beat me as the first round. <laughs> I'm just trying to add to it, dog. You, I can't give you all the glory. I just, I know, I just I'm can't. just saying, man. But no, at the end of the day, though, it was super fun to like play and compete. Now I want to play some more stuff because I felt a little rusty, so I got U.S. Open qualifier coming up. But you will. Like I don't even know how you even had time to focus. How often did your phone ring while you were in the ropes trying to play in a damn tournament? Let's, that's that's the important question. Bro, my phone was off the hook. Like I need a. This is an all call. I need an assistant. If anybody out there amongst our our tens and tens of listeners, <laughs> if if you know anybody who, who has, as my producer uh, Kaz says, hell yes, yes he you, echoed my you sentiments. Do, you do need it. I need, need assistance. Something. So everything that I asked for in life, to you know, uh, that I saw in my head, to I, that I saw in the vision, I saw from the the end from the beginning. I, I, it's, it's coming. It's, it's coming to fruition. But this mm. middle part of, of, of just being organized has got me jacked up, dog. It, I'm just all over the damn place. So the phone was all over. Just buzz. Just ring, oh ring. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, and, and, and this was on the this was on the eve. This was on the eve of the big Steph Curry boom. And I don't know for you, for those of you who may or may not know. We're going to get I there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Well, don't cut me off my no, control of myself. I'm trying to. I damn. want you to. I want to hand you your flowers. You trying to what? cut them out the ground yourself? Like well, just, that's that's where I'm, that's where I'm from. I did everything by myself. Cut. Right, well, cut them out the ground. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Well. Go well. Ahead. No. Well. I mean, should you put it like that? Go ahead, I'll cut stop. Them. Cut your I'll flower. stop. No. Nah. No. 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 Nah. No. Nah. Nah. How about how about how about them cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. Speaking of speaking of cut, um, what you think about the cut that Mr. J. Haas made? At the Zurich Championship, yeah, I mean, sixty-eight years old at the at the Zurich Championship making a cut. Okay. Don't hey, d- hold on, don't rob him of his glory because I know you, Doug. You about to say some. Shit. I'm not gonna rob him of his glory. I'm not. I- I'm happy for, J- for Jay Haas. I like Jay Haas. Is my favorite play- old school players. Him and Peter Jakes. It was paying for range balls together. I love both of them. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were. Yes, they were. With put Vaseline, put Vaseline on the face of their woods. Yes, right, they no, were. And the thing about it, it's a team event, right? So he had to lean on his son, and I think father son playing golf on the PGA Tour. I think it was a beautiful thing. But I think there's yeah. a bigger question at hand when it comes to the Zurich Classic, Zurich Open. What is it called? It's called Zurich. We're gonna call it Zurich, Zurich something. Yeah, we're gonna call it Zurich. My question is, why, why as a fan? And uh, yes, this is Golf Channel, so they're gonna get mad at me. But why do I want to see players play? On teams, I can. I don't need that. I can go turn on the NBA Finals right now. I don't need to see golfers in teams playing. In my opinion, haven't seen any of the Nielsen data. Had to be the lowest watched event from the TV couch life. It looked like the lowest attended event. I don't know how it's viable. I'm just be honest with you. That's why Man, I, I'm you, happy you, for the Hosses. I'm happy for Softly and Cantlay, but. Okay, I, I'm I'm all for this team event, bro, because this is the only time in golf history that you kind of see the names that you don't normally see. I mean, you got Dylan Wu. I like Dylan. Well, I, I don't see him often on the on the leaderboard. Justin Lower, you don't see him often. Yes. You had an Arjun Atwal signing. I like or signing. A signing, yes. We had signing. an Arjun Atwal signing. Absolutely. I mean, so you know, you just don't. I mean, I like I like the fact that you kind of get to see the names that don't you don't normally see, and you know, as long as Roy McIlroy is in the field of the world or in the field, you're not going to see. Well, he wasn't in the field. He was. Int. He was in. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Field. So when he's typically in the field, you you don't really see a Justin Lower at that first page. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to J J Lo. No, no, I'm no just, offense. I'm just saying, but like, here's a question: Why hasn't it happened yet? Where the PGA Tour, LPGA Tour do an event like that together. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to mm. see Xander Shoffley and Michelle Wee play a team event. All right, mm. yeah, I know she's pregnant. She was playing on some other stuff. But I'm just making an analogy, right? I want to see Lexi and Bubba. Like, put them together. I want to watch that. Put Danielle Kang, let's put Danielle Kang and Cameron Champ together. Sorry, they were the same, yeah. same hue. That's why I wanted to get that out. 
Oh, yo, you trying to use big words on me, Hugh. Okay. Three letters is huge. It's, hey, it's not Three. about the, how many letters make it big, sucker. Hey, so anyway, but I, I want to say this, though. I want to say this. I think the Zuri Championship, and I, I applaud them for trying mm -hmm. to be different. Yeah. I like that. I mean, so and it comes out to like the it comes out to the you know the walkout the the walkout music, you know, right. Right. which which I'm interested because you're so weird and shit. I'm so curious, what would be your walkout music, Doug? What I mean, what would it be? It I mean, on would the it day, be man? I can go. Would all be songs of Solomon, or no, would it be I do like, no? What, what oh, would it be? It's Jay Z. Show me what you got. Go ahead, play it, B. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> <laughs> it's OB. OB, did you get that that beep? Did you get that drop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I this ain't can get the hey, rights to the music. Yeah, but go yeah. ahead and drop it right here, man. <laughs> this, this ain't this ain't TNT. B ain't that quick. Show me, <laughs> show me what this you got, man. That's this ain't it, this ain't NBA on NBC, man. It's, 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 it ain't that quick. Hey, but I. <laughs> What you coming hey, out to? Hold hey. on, like you. I, show me what you got, Jay Z. That's it. What, what, what more do you need? That's perfect walkout music. Beats dope. Words is fire as Jay Z. I what, mean, but I think you, what more do you two, need. I think what I would do. It depends on. It depends on what angle I'm trying to play. You know, I'm all. It depends on who in the crowd, who I need to get next to. If if the CMO of Allies over there, I probably play. You know, uh, Darius Rucker. But but if 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 we in the culture of New Orleans. But you gotta go a little wheezy. Okay, you, you gotta go a little wheezy. I mean, some Wayne, little Wayne is who he's referencing for our folks oh, who don't so, know. So, just, sorry, sorry for for sure white listeners. For the eight white listeners, is little Wayne that we are referencing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but you know, they, what's, your, you know what you, what's your song? You gotta be specific. You just gave oh. you gave an artist. You asked me what oh. song. That's a lot. That's a very difficult question. Oh, uh, probably go with. Uh, I'll probably go with Fireman. Wow. Little Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Little Wayne Fireman, you know. I can hear it right now in my head. Just getting, yeah, you can you can feel it, right? Mm -hmm. And just yeah, and then yeah, and then right, and then, and then okay. dro drop it, B. I don't yeah, know. No, he's not, if mine don't get dropped, that's look, watch Lil Wayne and his songs just be open. Like you, you, hey, gotta, you gotta get title to sign off on Jay Z stuff. Hey, anyway, it's all good. But but Dougie, speaking of little. And this is this is more of a serious conversation, right? Serious. I want to know because you know I played a little bit of junior golf, but you you were really heavy in junior golf at one point as well. Try to be. Uh, exactly, we're both in the same world. Try to be. Uh, but I was a heavy junior tennis player. Mm -hmm. What's your take on junior golf? And the reason why I'm asking that right now. That's reason loaded. why I'm asking That's that. Loaded though, bro. I know it is, but reason why I'm asking that right now is because obviously Steph Curry just dropped. The um, the new underrated golf tour, where they're going to have uh, four regular season stops and a fifth uh, tour championship in Harding Park. But I heard, Great. hold on, but I heard there was some dreadheaded wonder that actually had this conversation with Steph Curry, and then Steph Curry jumped on the idea, and now it's real. So therefore, this dreadheaded wonder guy should be receiving flowers for creating a junior tour for people to come and get hold of. Well, I love it, man. Shout yes, out yes. I, I I threw the idea to Steph a, a few years back. And at one point, you know, Steph was assuming he's winning championships. He wasn't thinking about it. But when I got the phone call uh, a year and a half ago, like, hey, we're ready to put this thing together. So that's where we are, you know. And we, we're all about equity, access, and opportunity. That's mm -hmm. what the pillars of underrated uh, brands stand on. It, it got to be the pillars. So, you know, and shout out to all the guys who been associated with who've been um who who have been working so hard Jason Richards Richardson from uh you know from who's kind of like the overseer as well and, and Rob Roxborough so these guys are really doing things but I'm learning a lot about this I think I think the scheme the junior the junior golf scheme great <laughs> great word the I'm thinking the junior I think the junior golf is reminding me of AU basketball oh it's, it's it parallels perfectly it's 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 some parallel. It's some bullshit out there. Yeah. You know, I had a couple. I had a couple parents. You know, it's it's crazy how it is. But I had a couple parents who called and said, and before the announcement, Steph did the announcement um, a couple of days ago. Um, I hit him with the email. Hey, we'd love to have you for the Steph Curry underrated tour, and they were all like, "Who all gonna be over there? Like, is the strength of field strong? 
any stars, AJGA part of it. And I'm like, I mean, yes and no, I don't know. Sort of, maybe. But 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 just come and play, shoot the number, college coaches will come. That's how I think of it. I had parents say, hey, man, you know what? Since there are no strength, since the strength of field is not where I needed to be. Right. We're not coming. Yeah, so I'm, that, I'm that's disappointed. The thing, I'm dis- that's the thing. I'm, dis- I'm disappointed in where the game is going amongst juniors. I don't think nobody's Why? thinking about because I don't think nobody's thinking about Doug. You and I know we all we uh, as no, professional uh, as professional golfers we understand we we used to always try to get um, you know sponsors and sponsorships somebody to invest in yeah. this and it came down to shooting numbers. If you, you shoot, shoot numbers, numbers, if you win, that solves everything. It wins, and, 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 that's not but, that hasn't changed. Winning, ha- but I, I think I think it had, but it has changed on the junior playing field. Doug. Well, yeah, it's where you now. Yeah, it's, it's not about winning there. It's about where you win there, right? Like, it, it, if the strength of field is is strong and you win, but that's when, awesome. But the strength but of field we is play, trash. But when we play, matter. when we when we play the junior, it it wasn't about strength of field. Well, because we had, we didn't have the same landscape that these pl- kids have. We 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 had a more resolve, more grind. We wanted to play, and guess what? In my scenario, I didn't have the bread to travel. I had to play whatever was in state, so I didn't give it. I didn't have the luxury to to worry about the strength of field. It was me and whoever ass it was, and that's where I'm going. That's whose ass I'm about to bust. Like that's it, that's all I had. So these kids have way too much. If they can worry about the strength of field, hell with them kids. It's not the, that's not the kid that we need. It's to not the kid we need. And and a lot a lot of these kids are are. are are you know? I mean, I heard. I saw this one parent told me a story that their kid withdraws from the withdrew from the tournament because things weren't so much going according to plan the first round. Reason being, because they didn't want to hurt their world, their uh, their their ranking. So you got Junior Golf Scoreboard, you got AJGA Rolex points. It, it's a bittersweet. It, I mean, it allows you yeah it allows you entry level into some of these tournaments, but it also takes account of for. As I think it takes love away from the game about shooting numbers, but uh, I, I it just I'm just disappointed in this field. But I, I'm so happy what underrated golf tour is doing. I'm so happy with yeah. with Jay Rich and and, and you gonna name me gonna get familiar with Jay Rich and Rob Roxborough, What we're doing over there, we're moving we're moving the needle. And and shout out to Steph for putting this thing into uh, uh, motion. motion. Yeah, but but you, you make some good points though, Will. Like junior golf, I think the system is flawed. I think the I think the AJGA star system is very I don't know what to call it. I don't. I, look, it's, I was a high school golf coach a few years ago, so I had to worry about all this stuff. And since I've kind of left high school coaching, the nuances I'm, I'm losing. But here's my thing: it's no longer shooting a score and you you get access to college. This is not what it is right now, especially to these parents, because the parents now the landscape's changed. Look, the parents is running kids' Instagram accounts. You got the kids can now take money. Couldn't do that when we were kids, right? Hell no. Going to matter of fact, going to college is is more of a, a money incubator now than it's ever been. You can go to college and get paid to be there now. So I can yeah. go and, and have a Nike deal. Like I just saw Amari Avery is a spokesperson for a soccer team, professional soccer team. What? Really? Good for her. Get your money. But what? I, I, That's wild. Yeah, professional. She's check her Instagram account. Go out, Amari Avery. That's my little homie, but. The point is, she's eating. She's eating. Good for her. I'm proud of everybody that's eating. But it's just saying, like, now golf is doing this. Like, it's starting to splinter and go different places. So, you know, these parents, um, it's it's not the same. It's not about playing golf. It's like, let's get some money. It's not. Let's get some some clothes, some access, and then maybe we can make it to the league. It's not. And the thing about, and like I said, man, when when I'm starting to hear parents infiltrate that bull into these kids, and the kids are actually receiving it, like, I mean, you know, I don't think I need to play in this field because it's not strong enough. Go win. Like, I've never seen anybody who won and felt bad that I won. I've never felt bad about it. <laughs> I've never felt bad about winning. Never. And I think we're losing, we're losing, we're losing the... And it's the, a confidence builder. It's a confidence builder. It is a confidence go, builder. Go but, whoop but, them ass, and then you can go take that that confidence over here to this top-rated field. Look, well, what Steph Curry's doing, though, let's just let's give him his flowers, too. And you and the team and the Bobs and the Rod, whoever the hell it was. <laughs> That's needed <laughs> because there was kids like me that couldn't leave the the boundary lines of the damn state, even the county. Some days, so I had mm-hmm. two parents to work. Yes, absolutely. I had two parents to work. My dad ain't. Yeah. T- my dad worked the post office. He gonna nah. put a day in, or put an off day in, take me to the damn course. Not gonna happen. Yeah, and and, happen. and and there, and there, like I said, I, I, I had one parent. I said, yes, we're paying for you know flight. We're paying for uh, 
uh, transportation and we're paying for rounds of golf. Nothing's coming out your pocket while you're with us. And they were like, yeah, all that's cool, but how many stars? Man, that man got click. I clicked on that dude. I clicked on the dude. But speaking of speaking of low confidence, you just talk about low confidence. Um, you have to look at APJ event? Ooh. No, I'm sorry. I thought that's where you were going back to. My bad. That's on me. That's on me. Ooh. <laughs> Dick Smith. I mean, Doug Smith with the comeback. Um, all right. So uh, your boy, Who's your boy, boy, Greg Norman. Um, did you see that? He... How's he my boy all of a sudden? Uh, <laughs> Don't put that on me. Did, did you see Did you see Greg Norman uh, ask the RNA for... Um, and a special exemption into the British Open, the home of golf this year. And hold they on. said, hell no. Hold on, hold on. I said Greg British Norman Open. Had the, open Championship. Uh, yeah, Open, well, the Open, the open British Open. I grew up on the British Open, sorry. It was British. It, it, sometimes, it changed somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 changed, it changed overnight I'm somewhere. I'm still I don't mad know about that. Because if you go back, it was British Open. It, it was British like, Open my whole life. And then the, the, the me change. fake news media got a hold of it. Now it's Open. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Open to who? <laughs> <laughs> but no, but yeah, they, how, how RNA said Greg, hell no. Tell Greg Norman sit his ass down somewhere. Let's just be honest, be real. Like you don't call so much. He done shook the pot way too much this year. I'm sorry. He I don't care. I, if I I want to see that's no. one of the few that's one of the few majors he won, Doug. And I want to see him out there playing. But he's 97 I, years old, Will. He, that's well, not, if you that's if no you fan favorite, he ain't. He, people well, don't look you, at him like a pariah. He walk out well, there. Well, well, if you flip the numbers around, minus ten, he's sixty-seven. But I'm saying this: he, if if Tom Watson can get a special exemption at sixty-five, special, got it, special. I got a, my 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 saliva just don't yeah, it, it just don't go right. It ain't you need so, it. just it's no it just don't go right. But if if Greg Norman, I mean, excuse me, if Tom, if, I'm about to say Tom Joyner, if Tom. <laughs> If Tom Jordan, <laughs> listen, everybody. Him. Tom Jordan morning show. Want everybody to welcome you to the. <laughs> I got hey, drunk with Tom Jordan. Hey, hey, for I, I, I got drunk with um with uh, Donna Joyner. Uh, <laughs> hey, but hey, for everybody who's listening to our tens and tens of white listeners, Tom Jordan was a prominent is uh, is is a prominent uh, DJ disc jockey disc jockey a morning show host morning show host sorry mm -hmm. so anyway but if Tom Watson at the age of 65 can get a special exemption he should have won that too he, it, that was when it was a British Open I don't know so uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if he if he could have won that thing I think Greg can do it too I just think he'll do it former world number one how you gonna de decline a former ne world number one I think it's whack but uh, I'm gonna let you just have this I, I I don't I hope the RNA told his ass where to go. I'm gonna tell you right now. I get that he's hey. trying to grow golf, protect players. I get I get the the philosophy of it, but Greg Norman needs to sit his ass down somewhere. Let's just be honest. Sit, Phil, get out the way. Phil, Phil. Wait, well, speaking of well, speaking of sitting his ass down, he's ready to get up. Uh, Who? Who? Phil. 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 Well, well, Phil. Phil I, I read an article oh, recently. Phil. Well, just recently, Phil asked for a release from <laughs> that from that Saudi you know, mess. No, he asked for a release to play in the Saudi. He asked for a release from the tour. Like, hey, I know y'all mad at me, but can y'all sign this piece of paper so I can go over here and play now? Oh, is that what it said? That's exactly what it said. Oh, he doubled down. No, he's he's he's, he's trying to throw the... I, I, it's speculative, right? But yeah, don't, don't, thing. don't speak for Phil. If it is a real thing, if he asks for a release, he has not committed to play. So we can say that it's allegedly, right? That he allegedly wants to play. But it's a fact that he asked for a release. Now, what that means is, is he throwing a deuces to the PGA Tour? Not sure. Is he is he all in with Liv? I don't know. Did he talk, that, did he talk about some people and then they let him in back into the family? Back into the fold? I don't know that answer either. Does the PGA Tour need Phil, Doug? At this point, no. Because they've been living without him for the last, you know, two months since he's been canceled. And uh, no, But nobody has the character and the pizzazz of Phil Mickelson. What's, uh, <laughs> Sorry, how you, how you doing? Look, look. This is, hey, for our, listen, for our listeners out there, Doug is imitating Phil Mickelson grabbing his brim and with the big white thumb. With the, with the thumb up. <laughs> with, with the, the white thumb? How, how are you racist on a thumb? It's not a thumb because that's white is, thumb. Because I'm indicating, I'm, in, I'm indicating the emoji that will come across my screen if you gave me a thumbs up. That's okay. what I'm saying. 
I got you. There you go. There you I'm go. Phil. So dumb. But Phil, I think I think Phil needs to come back because I'm kind of missing little. I feel like throwing a thumbs up to people is like wearing or having iron covers on your clubs. I'm gonna wear iron covers on my uh, my celebrity debut at the BMW Pro Am. I love how you slid that. In. I don't. I didn't know. I didn't know how you would do it. I didn't know how you do it. Hey, but bro, I'm a segue. I'm a segue king up in this joint. Today, dog. yes, you are. You are. You own the segways today. Will Lowry is playing in the BMW Charity Pro Am, and I, I, I hope you can compete better um, at that championship than you did previously. See, that's on. That's that's, I had to put you to see how you wanted to clap you for yourself. You, you, yeah, I'm pretty, come on back you down. You always be trying to steal my. You always trying to steal my shine. Come on always. back. Come on back down here, son. That's why I ain't worried about that, dog. No, I'm not for you, if, though. If I, if I I'm lose, still mad if, at you because you asked me to caddy. He was like, Dougie, I'm playing in a BMW. You want to caddy for me? No, I'm not. I got shit to do over here. I'm not flying across the country to carry a bag. It's not going to happen. I love you. I would do it if it was down the street. I'm not coming to freaking Carolina to carry a bag. Beyond the Fairway podcast is presented by Genesis Motor America and the first ever GV70 dynamic design and exhilarating performance make the game your own and well I'll tell you what's interesting you know you talked about we talked about Phil and Greg Norman of course what I find interesting is that Norman allegedly says he has 15 top 100 players that are going to play come over on his side 15 of the top 100 now we know Phil's not Phil, Phil's going he's trying he's trying to you know Fix the words that he said about the evil people over there. He said it, not me. I'm not calling you that. Because if he does, if he does, he has. He has. I'm, let's 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 just let's open up. Let's open the can, Will. Okay. Give me top. Give me like three people that you think I'm about to say the hell with the PGA Tour. I'm about to go over there. I'm trying to figure out who has the most to gain. I, I tell you, I tell you who has the most to gain, Doug. Okay, give me one. They were the leaders at the Zurich Championship. Dylan Wu. <laughs> <laughs> Wu he ain't Ward, top 100, cuz. They are not top 100. Here, I'll, I don't give, know. I'll, give you, I'll give you somebody I think is going to throw it. It's 85, 85 to 100. Probably he's got the top 100. Let me say this. I think Bubba Watson's going to go head on over. Nah, it wouldn't be Bubba. I think, I think Bubba's going to be one of them 15. It, it's, it's the one. I don't have the, any facts it, or figures or reasons no. why. I think Dougie, Bubba's gonna be one of them. Dougie, it's the it's the guy that you can see who never wanted to be bound or never wanted to be, um, you know, uh, hindered. Hmm. Always outspoken. Who? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if if Brooksy is probably one of the bigger ones. Brooksy. Brooks. Huh. I mean that bread though. I mean you talking about you talking about athlete you talking about athlete bread of of basketball. It, and it makes sense if you at the top of your class in in golf. And you ain't making equally as much money as a person at the top of their sport in basketball and football. That's that's wild to me. Yeah, no, but, and I, okay. but think about it. We're not bashing. We're not bashing PJ Tour by no means. Ba- no, PJ Tour is PGA. doing PGA so much. Tour's fantastic. But but okay. but what but what I'm saying is, if you had to pick the individuals that would go, you gotta think of you can you can see in. And in, in the way they had press conferences, how they handle media, that tells you a lot. I mean, Brooks did not. Brooks did not give a press conference at the at, at Augusta this year. Mm-hmm. He did go to quick quotes, but he didn't didn't have a press mm-hmm. conference. I, I mean, don't know. Brooks is my man. I'm not going against him. I'm saying Brooks is he's drinking the Kool Aid. I'm say I'm gonna say, say Bubba. I don't know, but they offered Bryson a lot, and he they everybody changed. Once everybody went to the Genesis last year, everybody was like, skirt. Yeah, and Greg Norman was like, "Who's coming with me? Who's coming with?" Me? Hey. Yeah, he like he like uh, uh, Jerry Maguire. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, that's a bad reference. I don't know what the hell you. That's one of the most iconic moments in yeah, cinema. But you didn't do it right. He's coming. What, what are you talking about, man? Show me the money is an no, iconic no, moment in cinema. No, it is actually. Yeah. Yeah. But that. anyway, I'm not even going to argue with you right now because I don't have the energy. <laughs> Brooks Kepka. about Harold? Where's Harold's allegiance? Man, Harold. Harold, you know on, is he going or staying? Let's just stop it there. Is he going or staying? Why well, say this? Harold's allegiance has always shocked me through the years. <laughs> <laughs> Will you you 
You wild for this one, though. But look, in the spirit <laughs> of the week, Will, NFL draft coming up. I want to put a little twist on it. All right, hit me. We're going to turn, we're going to, turn the NFL into the PGA. We're going to mix them together, right? We're going to have PGA teams, all right? So we're going to have a draft for the PGA Tour. Everybody's available. You're a GM of your own team. Well, I'm going to be a GM of mine. You're going to be with, with the first pick of the 2022 PGA Tour draft. Will Lowry selects. Who you taking with you, Will? First pick. My who first build, pick. Who are you going to build a franchise around as a golfer? My, mm. first, my, my first pick of the 2022 PGA draft will be none other than Dylan Wu. <laughs> it's not a bad pick. <laughs> it's not a bad not pick. A bad everybody pick. Got, everybody got no, tripping. No, I like Dylan Wu. He's cool. He's good people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, I mean, a... or or uh, the other Wu. Who's the other Wu on the PJ Tour? There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with Wu? Um, Wu, you think you got a good pick? <laughs> with the second pick in the 2022 PGA Tour draft. Doug Smith is selecting Will Zalatoris. Will I think Zalatoris. I think he's going to be a world beater. I want him on my team so I can teach him how to putt. I want his putting to be my responsibility. Okay. I want the yippish in his stroke. I want that on me. We're going to get rid of that arm block. We're going to get him calmed down, get him some sativas. And oh, I can't say that. We're gonna get... <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> can't say that, dog. It's legal here. You can do that in Arizona. Yeah. I don't know about Charlotte or where the hell you are, but we're going to get it. We're going to get his nerves together. All right. We're going to get his nerve together. And I want to be responsible to build a team. I think Will Zalatoris is a perfect player to build a team around because he does a lot of good things. He does a lot of things great. We're going to get his putting tightened up. We're going to get him a couple W's. And then um, we'll figure out who else we need a team around. Uh, my second pick. Oh, wow. I didn't know we were going this far. Second pick. PG, my second pick in the PGA Tour draft of 2022. I hope we can put the music in. Would be <laughs> who I want on my team. Mm. Who was just a teammate of Dylan Vu, Justin Lower. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I know, this guy can't play it right. All right, with my second and final pick. Well, you know what? We're going to add a celebrity component in here, too. Mm-hmm. So your next pick is going to be a celebrity. My second pick. You know what? Since he was recently victorious, got a little swag to him. I'm going with Xander Shoffley, and he gave my son a golf ball. Mm. I'm going with Xander Shoffley. I think I can build a team around Xander Shoffley, who shook a three-year winning sh- drought outside of, you know, the gold medal. Take take Xander Shoffle and Will Zalatoris. Now, well, drum roll, the celebrity pick. Gonna need a celebrity on this team. I like this. We actually might need to make this a reality. Beyond mm. the fairway uh, 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 tournament with this draft presented by Genesis. Genesis, well, I need some more money for that. But, uh, Will, who's your celebrity pick? Got to play right. golf. Got to play golf. All right. My celebrity pick for the 2022 PGA Tour draft will be none other. He will pre- appear... In the 2022 BMW Pro Am, Will Lowry. <laughs> well, as a celebrity. <laughs> well, I'm taking I'm taking Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Oh, I'm Ooh, taking Steph Curry to play golf. I'm, on my draft, I'm taking Steph Man. Curry. You picked you. I'm picking because you haven't beat him apparently. I mean, you. I had beat him, dog. Don't do that. I'll, I'll said, I, we'll go back to the tape, Brian. Put that in right here. I think Steph think he can hold me. I think he I think he thinks he can beat me on the course. I, I don't. The times we play, I don't know if you ever got me. Have you never got me? Have you? I, I've got. I you, know. Never, I remember you, the day. Bro, you, Lo- bro, long you, view. Long view. Okay. Uh, Let's get to it. First time playing the course. North Carolina. Who cares? You're a it professional. Doesn't matter. No, you, you First never. First time playing the course. Just because it's my home track, don't mean nothing. Okay, he made. I remember I, we, we had to go to 19 holes though. I do know that because uh, I got made, I got a nice little up and down on on one, which is the 19th hole. I kind of uh, remember that. I, I, I yeah, kind of yeah, remember. Kinda, that. I know you remember that. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, <laughs> he's beaten me, but he never beat me. Beat me. You know what I'm saying? I, that make any sense? It does make sense. Let's go. Let's move forward. So, thank you. So, that's a, you say you, he beat you, but he didn't win. Or man. wait, no, you lost. He won, but you didn't lose. I don't know how ass. that works. I will bust his ass. He cannot hold me. God, and, and that's a misconception because everybody really asked that question. I mean, have you really beaten Steph? 
Yeah, yeah. Has he beaten me? Is the question. That pisses me off, man. Don't try me, bro. I'm I'm taking you, Chef. I'm taking Chef Curry. You got me, you, Chef Curry, whipping whip with the pot. You bro. got me feeling. You got me feeling like Vivian Vivian Banks. I'm about to take my earrings off on you, bro. Don't do that. The original Vivian Banks. The original. The, the original. The, the, you got the dark. Specific. Yes, There's three of them now. Yeah, because <laughs> the light skinned one ain't never took her earrings off, but the dark one, her earrings always came off. <laughs> them clip ons was nice. Man, well, I tell you what, we got we to gotta do this more often, man. We hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Beyond the Fairway presented by Genesis. Sometimes Will and I just need to get out here and get some stuff off our chest. And this was that. Yeah. So be, stay tuned, listen, follow, subscribe. Beyond the Fairway, we right here. We're going to be back to get you. We're going to pick you up when you're down. And you know what? Where else are you going to get golf talk like this? You're welcome. Will, holla at you. And, and also, this this is what happens when you can't find a guest that week. They are so not going to put that on. There. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, because we, we gotta be, we gotta tell our, our viewers the truth, man. They they in this, they in this with us. <laughs>